Oh, I just broke that. Don't use a screwdriver. Not everything on the internet is as easy as it looks. That's what I learned today. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be changing the spark plugs on my 2018 Jetta uh, it's Mark VI. It's a SE Sport, has a 1.8 liter engine. Uh, you're supposed to replace the spark plugs every 40,000 miles or four years, and I haven't done that yet. And I am at about 54,000 miles, so now would be a good time to do that. So, uh, tools needed. I have laid everything out here. Torque wrench, a ratchet wrench extension, ratchet wrench extension, a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter deep 10 millimeter socket, and a 5 8 um, what is it, spark plug, uh, spark plug uh, thing. That's right. And a handy dandy flashlight with a magnet in the back. And for the spark plugs, this is the NGK Laser Platinum. Here's the stock number, I'll put it on the screen. And also the OEM um, part number. I did some digging around. This is the exact same one as the OEM. Um, exact same spark plug. And, and um, I called around the dealers and I looked online. The OEM spark plug runs about uh, 16 to $22 each. And these exact same ones directly from NGK cost about $12 each. So do with that information what you will. But um, yeah, let's get to the car. And I, well, I, I'm doing this for the first time. So um, this should be interesting. And um, yeah, hope I don't blow my car up. Um, engine cover, it's just plastic, comes off. It's held by uh, some rubber nipple looking things right here. Rubber things, just yank it off. Pop, pops off right away. And now we have exposed the engine compartment. Somebody just blew a tire on the freeway. Anyway, here we are in the engine compartment. This, these are your coils. And what we want to do is we want to take this off first. This is a 10 millimeter right here. These four nuts, take them off. And then you want to pop this off and then you take out the coils. Uh, well, actually you'd have to take that out as well, but take out the coils and your spark plugs will be right down there. So first step, 10 millimeter wrench, take out these four nuts. That's what I'm going to do. Obviously, you know, you should disconnect the battery just in case, but you know, we are living on the edge here. So we're not going to do that. Make sure you don't drop these. Very important that you don't drop them. They are not on there incredibly tight. So I just have to make a mental note to not over tighten them um, when I put them back. You might need a flathead screwdriver, you might not. But let me just show you guys what we're working with here close up. I don't have a longer lens, so I'm gonna have to move the camera every time I want to show you something close. All right, now that the bolts are off, come on, focus. Now that these bolts are off, you will see Oh, and uh, we took these connection points off. Uh, it looks like that. So in order to remove these clips, you want to get your thumb in this little loop thing there and then just pull. Uh, it should make an audible click noise. Let's see. Okay, you might need two hands, but basically, you take these off. You might have to move the air intake a little bit, move it back to remove this whole part. Um, these four things are all connected. So um, yeah, this thing theoretically, I don't want to break it. That's the problem. Okay, I don't want to break my car here. 
Um, I guess taking these off for the very first time, it might be a little tricky. Okay, I can't. I'm gonna need some assistance. I don't know if that click was the click. Oh, I just broke that. Don't use the screwdriver. Well, what do I do now? Okay, this has proven to be a harder job than I expected. Okay, I just watched a couple of videos on it and they made it look so easy. They're like, oh, you just pull up on this and pull out. Is this one supposed to look like that? No idea. You just pull up and pull out. It, it, it seemed super easy. So, it's not, it's not as easy as it looks, you know? Not everything on the internet is as easy as it looks. That's what I learned today. Holy shit. This should not be that hard. Oh, there. Okay. All right. Um, I ended up taking it off by breaking it, <laughs> breaking the plastic part. So there's that. Um, this part is zip tied onto this part. Now that those plugs are finally off, time to disassemble this. I think I'll do it one at a time. You can use a drill power tool for this, but I think I'm gonna do it by hand just to be safe. All right, first bolt is off. These coils, you can just wiggle them out. Supposedly. Yep, okay. Side to side. These coils look like that. Looks very interesting. They're quite hefty. Set it off to the side. Let me grab the camera, show you guys what it looks like in there. All right, so this is the plug. These are the four plugs that you need to take off. Come on, focus. Focus. Cool, now, the coils, ignition coils, look like this. They're like rubber on the inside, so it takes a little um, wiggling to get it out. And there inside lives your spark plugs. So now I'm going to take the old one out and replace them with a new one. Oh shit, that's like in there. All right. And then the last couple turns, you wanna do it by hand, just in case. You don't wanna get anything in there in your engine. So be extra, extra careful. Take the spark plugs out. This is the old spark plug right here and time to grab a new one new spark plug you want to very carefully seat it into your spark plug thing in there now that it's nice and then uh, in there get your flashlight take a look carefully place it inside tighten it by hand until you can't tighten it anymore. Now you get your torque wrench. Set 
to 18, between 18 to 20 uh, foot pounds of torque. Um, on this one, it's only, uh, you know, from 15 to 20. So I kind of sit, uh, you know, just, just at 20 pounds. Plus, you know, this is a Harbor Freight um, torque wrench. I don't plan on it to being very, very accurate. So, but I'm okay with it. Let's get this torque wrench in there. Tighten the rest. How does this work? Okay, cool. All right. I think that was 18 foot pounds. <laughs> now I put the coil back on. Maybe clean it a little bit but slide it back on there. Boom, there's the first one. I think I'm just gonna mind as well install this thing. You know, there's no torque setting on um, this screw right here. So just hand tighten it until it, you know, it's secured and doesn't move. And the next one. There we go. There we go. Well, you know, I, I should mention these uh, for the coils. You don't need to replace them every time you replace your spark plugs. Generally, it's, I think, every other time you switch out, you replace your spark, spark plugs, you then replace your coils. But, you know, your performance may vary, so consult a mechanic or, you know, if you know what you're doing, then don't, definitely don't listen to me. Now, we have to do everything in reverse. Put these coils plug things back in. Might be a little tricky. Um, just gotta be careful. Clip these back in. Obviously, mine don't clip anymore. Uh, shove it back in as much as you can. Uh, this one may give me some trouble. Because the plug isn't all the way in, I suppose. Let's see. Okay, and then you want to put these copper connection tubes, connection things, I have no idea what they are. Copper connectors. Put them back on and tighten these little nuts on. Just want to make sure that the coils are on all the way. Boom, and then tighten them. You don't want them to be too tight. Just hand tight them. These don't have to be torqued down or anything, so just hand tighten them. And there you go. Let me clean up my workspace. And then, where's the cover? Here it is. Take your very cool uh, plastic cover, put it back on. Nope, that's not where that goes. That goes there. Boom, there you go. Now I'm gonna start the engine. Moment of truth.
feels the same. Maybe a little smoother. Oh, I think it's a lot smoother. All right, I think that's the end of this video. Hope it helped. It certainly helped me um, learn how to change, do my own spark plugs. Uh, yep, all the parts and stuff are gonna be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time.